guys, welcome back. I'm Tanae and this is Beyond Beauty. In this video, we're just going to be playing with makeup. I have a little basket here full of makeup. Some of it is new to the market. Some of it has been out for a while, but is new to me. I just obtained them and I've been wanting to play with them on camera. So I thought, what the heck, let's sit down, let's get ready with me and let's play with some makeup. The primer we're going to be using is from Shop and Say. This is from the AOA Studio brand. It is the Blur Perfect Face Primer. I got mine in nude. There's also one that's transparent. It says it minimizes pores. It has a smooth, velvety finish. Blurs and preps skin to help minimize pores for a smooth, even canvas. The soft texture glides onto skin to help lock in makeup for all day wear. I'm assuming that it's like the Tatcha Skin Canvas or the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm not sure. You know, this is the first time that I'm using but I'm very excited to see what the formula is actually like. Doesn't have a scent. Feels creamy. Feels like it might have a kind of an oily slip to it. I don't know, but let's go on ahead and apply it. I'm going to focus on my pore areas, which are right in here. I like the fact that it is nude, so it has a little bit of a tint to it, which should also help even out the skin as well as minimize pores. Right away, I am already seeing a bit of a blurring effect around the pore area. My larger pores are in here, my nose, my chin, on my forehead. I also have, you know, a little bit of scarring from past acne and I have a few frown line wrinkles on my forehead. It feels nice. I will not say that it's the same type of feel or formula as the e.l.f. putty primer, but it does feel very lightweight. It's leaving a semi satin matte finish to the skin. It doesn't feel oily or greasy on the skin at all. So far, so good. So far, everything is looking nice and blurred. It feels really nice. I don't have a new concealer or foundation. I'm just going to use my Pretty Fresh one from ColourPop as well as my Pretty Fresh concealer. I also do not have a new brow to try out, so I'm going to throw on my AOA Slim Brow. I'm going to do all three of these off camera, and then we'll come back and we'll set everything down with a new powder that I just got that I'm really excited to use. I decided to wait to after setting my face with my powder before I did my brows just in case I messed them up. Before we do that, I just want to point out that the foundation actually blended really, really nicely over this primer. It looks really nice. I have a nice blurred canvas. Everything looks really smooth. So far, I am impressed. The real test will see how it wears throughout the day. The powder that we're going to be using to set everything down is from Ofra. This is the banana powder. This actually came out of my latest BoxyCharm box. I've never never used anything from Ofra before, so I was very excited to get this product. I really like the packaging. The only thing about it is that it's going to get dirty really, really quickly because it is kind of a matte white. It smells like banana Laffitaffy. I'm not a huge fan of bananas, but if you do like that, you'll like the way that this one smells. This is a pressed powder. Normally, I use a loose powder, but I wanted to give this one a try. It also says you can use it to set your under eyes. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I never set my under eyes. No matter the foundation, the powder, concealer, it doesn't matter. It always creases, but I thought I would give this a try. It says that it's brightening. One can always use a little more brightness under the eyes. Ooh, so far. That looks nice. Okay. Hmm. So far, I am liking how that looks. I'm just taking a fluffy tapered brush from Doe Color and I'm just lightly tapping it in. All right, so far that is looking good. Everything is nice and bright. It's actually helping with the discoloration. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face with it. Put a little in my T-zone, my nose. This is the part where I get the oiliest in this area. We can always use a little extra powder there. All right, everything is set down. I'm going to take a bigger, fluffier powder brush here just to kind of blend everything in. So far, everything is looking nice. All right, now I'm going to go off camera, do my brows, and then we'll come back and we'll move into blush, highlight, eyeshadow, all that. All right, now let's move on to eyeshadow. I have this Caliente Audra's Couture Palette. This also came out of my latest BoxyCharm. I was so excited when I saw this one. I really like the packaging. It's this nice kind of plastic acrylic. And this color story, oh my God, it is absolutely breathtaking. I definitely want to use this one, maybe this one, and then possibly pull in this gold shimmer and then this orangey shimmer right here. Just have to see. We're going to start off by priming your eyes with the Visi Art Professional Makeup Eyeshadow Primer. 
This also came out of that latest BoxyCharm. That was the first BoxyCharm box in a while. Well, I absolutely loved everything that came in it. This one has kind of a silicone-y feel to it. I may have put on too much. I'm going to blend it out with my finger and then I'm going to just let it sit for a minute and see if that changes the texture or anything. I definitely put a little too much on it, but like I said, we're just going to let it sit for a minute and kind of see what it does. All right, it has been about a minute. It and it's actually set down pretty nicely no longer has that silicone feel but let's go ahead and jump into this palette i'm going to take a big fluffy brush and the first thing i'm going to do is lay down the yellow shade the names are on the back of the palette i think this yellow is called mangarita but i'm going to take that and i'm just going to kind of lay that all over mostly focusing on the inner part because i'm going to take that beautiful orangey red and i'm going to lay that more towards the outer part of the eye so far I'm getting a decent amount of pigment. It's not as bright yellow as I was hoping it would be. It's kind of looking a little muddy on my eyes. See that? I was hoping for something just a little bit brighter. Let me try a different brush. I'm going to take this more detailed, smaller blending brush from Doe Color and I'm going to use that to just kind of focus the shadow in this area. Just press it down and see if we get more pigment that way. It's looking a little bit better. I use that Busy Art eyeshadow primer, so you never know for sure if it's the shadow or if it's the primer. You know, it could just be the shadow is just not mixing well with that primer. Yeah, you never know. Also, have a new set of Luxie eye brushes. I was very excited to get these. I've been wanting to try brushes from Luxie for a while. I'm going to use the Luxie 231. This is a tapered blending brush. I'm going to use that to go right into the crease. I just love how small and detailed that is. When you have smaller lid space like me, it's nice to have brushes that are smaller and can fit a little bit better in that crease area. This shade I think is called V Brush. I'm trying to read the names on the back of the palette, but hard to read. I'm going to take this. I'm going to focus this on the outer part of the eye and I'm going to blend it into that crease and into that yellow just a little bit. Brush is blending really nice. There is definitely a lot of pigment in this orangey shade. Wow. I feel like Ronald McDonald or a uh, piece of candy corn. This would have been perfect for like a Halloween look. And we're just taking it, focusing it on the outer corner, and then just blending it into the yellow. Now I'm going to take the Luxie Small Shader. I think it says it's the 245. I'm going to dip into what are we going to go into i'm going to go ahead and dip into a couture which is the golden orange type shade or shimmer and i'm going to lay that on the lid so we're going to lay that right here over the yellow and that orange just kind of blending everything together i meant to use this new glitter adhesive base that i got from aoa it is the tacky base eye primer you know what i'm going to go ahead and use this shop Masse came out with three eye primers there was one that was a nude a creamy silky or something like that and then this one which is a tacky i thought if this one worked pretty well then it could be a good replacement or not replacement but something i could use as well as my bh cosmetics glitter so i'm gonna go ahead and just lay it here even though I have laid down that yellow shimmer shade already, I think it'll be fine. It'll also kind of help it pop a little bit more. Now I'm going to dip back into that gold shimmer and lay it down over the tacky base. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's giving it more shine. I'm going to use a different brush because that one's kind of getting, it's gotten a little bit too sticky. I'm going to use my Essence flat brush here. I love this brush for laying down shimmer. Lay that down quickly. I don't know how fast this sets. It could set down like really, really fast. I don't know. I'm not sure. But the shimmer is laying down really nicely over it. I do like that. I'm going to go back in with a little more of the orange shade just to kind of blend these edges. I have a little bit of that orange shade on it. this Luxie. I think it says it's the 231. These brushes are really nice. Now I'm going to take the shade Mama Sita, which is that orangey shade. I'm going to lay that in the inner corner. Quick little check-in, and already I am seeing creasing and drying under the eyes. Yep, that one is not working very well either. Like I said, it doesn't make a difference what shadow, I mean, which concealer powder formula does not matter. I always end up with a bunch of creasing under my eyes. So. I do not have a new liner, so I'm going to go ahead and do my liner off camera, throw on some lashes, and then we'll come back and we'll do the blush and highlight. I have four new blushes here. This one is called Melon. It's the B 
BB4. This is the Blush Balm Color Drops for Cheeks. This one is from Flower Beauty. I've actually had this one for a while. I've wanted to try it, but I haven't had the chance to actually play with it on camera yet. These three are from Amuse. This one is just the regular powder blush. This one is in shade Bliss. It's a really pretty kind of a peachy mauve shade. Doesn't quite look like it would go with this look, so we're not going to do that one. These two are the Rose Blushes from Amuse. It's funny because there's a little label on the back here with the, with the name of the blush, but you pull that off because there's a mirror back here. I am never going to use this mirror, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the label, I'm going to cut the little flaps off, and then I'm just going to glue this to the back because this mirror is never going to get used. It's really cute though because it pulls out like this, and as you can see, it has that really beautiful rose design in it. That might work a little bit better. And then this one is antique. This one is a little bit deeper brownish kind of mauve. So it is between these two. What do we want to go with? I think I'm going to give the blush balm a try. Since I've had this one the most, and this is the one that I've been wanting to try for a while, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try. So we're going to take it and we're going to lightly tap it on our cheek. Definitely has pigment, that's for sure. Ooh. Just take my fingers and just blend it out. How is it blending over powder? It's actually blending nicely. Blending it with my finger is kind of, it's kind of helping to diffuse that color so it's not so super bright. Lay down a little bit more and blend. It's setting down really, really quickly. So far, I am liking this one a lot more than that Milani liquid blush thingy, which is similar to this one. That one didn't really have much pigment at all, but that's pretty. I like that. I think this was a good blush choice. I'm going to highlight real quickly with this blush from Kika Milano. It is the Unexpected Paradise in Golden River. This one is new to my collection. It is a beautiful gold. It just happens to have a little bit of sparkle to it. Normally, I'm not big on a glittery highlighter, but the glitter in this one is so fine that it just sparkles and shines on the skin. You see that? Oh, it is a glorious formula. And it smells like the beach. It smells like suntan lotion. I had this Marajuku Miracle Mist Setting Spray. This is from Tarte. This is not new. I think this came out like a couple of months ago. I got this in a Boxytron box and I've been wanting to try it. Probably should have done this before I did my liner and my lashes, but here we go. Mmm, smells really nice, and I love the really nice fine mist that comes out of it. It's very even. All right, we're going to set this down. I'm going to do lips off camera because I do not have a new lip product in here, and then we'll come back and we'll do some final thoughts on everything new and old that I played around with. All right, and we're back. I went on ahead and I also did my hair too because I was looking a little bit crazy and I do have a couple more videos after this I do plan on filming. I went on ahead and threw in my lower waterline this ColourPop gel pencil. It's called Peach Fizz. This is one of the ones that came in that vault gel liquid, I mean a gel cream eyeliner roll. It's very, very pretty. I line my lips using the AOA Studio Lip Pencil in Famous and my lip color is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Idol. This one is in status. Just a very light peachy color. I wanted to go a little bit subtle in contrast to the really nice bright eye look that I put together. Now let's do some final thoughts. First of all, the AOA Studio Blur Fection Face Primer. I actually really like this. It doesn't have the same texture as the Putty Primer. I really do like it. It's very lightweight. It actually blended very nicely. It blurred really nicely. I think it looks really good on the skin. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one out one more. As far as the Ofra Banana Powder, I like it. I still prefer my loose powder over a pressed powder, but it did add a little bit of brightness. So I think what I'm going to do in the future is if I do use this, I'm going to focus it just on areas where I do want a little bit more brightness rather than using it as an overall setting powder. Also, under my eyes, it looks okay. Like on camera, it looks nice. In person, I can see a little bit of creasing. I will say that it doesn't crease as much as the other powders that I have used. Still, I prefer not to sit under my eyes, so probably not going to use it for that. The Vizzy Art Professional Eye Primer. I like this too. I like the way it's set down. I don't know if my shadow performed better over it or not. I can't say, but, but I did like the way it felt after it sat down. I really enjoy using the Luxie brushes, especially this small tapered crease brush. I definitely need some more brushes like that. I also like this Glitty Tacker Base Eye Primer from AOA Studio. This one was really nice. I just sat it right here and used it as a base for the shimmers, and it did work very nicely. They 
do pop. It sets down really quickly though, so you have to work really fast. You probably just want to do one eye at a time when you're using this one as opposed to using both, but it is a good tacky base primer. And I love this blush bomb. This one I like a lot better than the one from Milani. I think it's a little bit more pigmented. In the future though, I think I'm going to build it up a little more. Today I was, I was just really just trying out the formula, but I really do like it. It really does look nice on the skin. And the last thing, the Merojuku Miracle Mist Setting Spray from Tarte. This is definitely not a mattifying spray. This is more of a hydrating. This one I think I'll use more so if I have like a really powdery effect going on with my makeup and I just want to kind of lessen that and melt everything together. I think this one will be really good for that. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe and join my little family. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below. Also be sure to hop over to Instagram and Twitter. Follow me over there. I also have a Facebook page that's dedicated to this channel, Uyan Beauty, same name. I'm thinking about trying a TikTok in the new year. We will just have to see. All the links to my social media are down in the description box below. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.